Descartes realized that he had been fed with untrue assumptions throughout his whole life. And how is one supposed to gain truth within the sciences with untrue assumptions? That is like building an 80-story building upon a swamp. If one wants to gain true knowledge, one needs a sturdy, rocky foundation. So here he deployed his famous systematic doubt. He wanted to imitate the skeptics, but he didn't like the skeptics because they only doubted for doubt's sake only to come to the conclusion that they didn't know anything. But Descartes wanted to find this solid rock where he could lay down his foundation for all knowledge. Descartes began his doubting, and he began with the senses. For instance, when you dip a stick into water, it looks bent. Maybe it is like that all the time. How can we know that our senses is not fooling us all the time? At least it is possible to doubt our senses. And Descartes had met men who made simple mistakes, even analyzing simple geometrical truths. And then it's even possible to doubt logic and reason itself, which seems self-evident. But I guess it's possible to doubt it. And René realized that you can even doubt the very thoughts that are in our heads, because they could come to you while you're asleep, dreaming. So it seems that we can doubt everything in the world, right? Or can we? But immediately afterwards, I became aware that while I decided thus to think that everything was false, it followed necessarily that I who thought thus must be something. And observing that this truth, I think, therefore I am was so certain and so evident that all the most extravagant suppositions of the skeptics were not capable of shaking it. I judged that I could accept it without scruple as the first principle of the philosophy I was seeking. Even though Descartes is probably one of the most bashed philosophers in modern times, I still think that this is pretty genius. Because you can doubt the whole existence of the universe, but you cannot doubt that there is something that performs the doubting itself. So this certainly is the solid rock that René was looking for.